Good morning, everybody. Okay, today I have an interesting little thing for you. We're going to try to get rid of this reverb sound here on this clip. Listen. Y cuando me hizo las preguntas acerca de otros de mis hijos, ella se dio cuenta que podía yo arreglar un asunto de inmigración. Okay. Okay, here's what happened. This particular room where we are recording this clip is not quite a rectangle, but it's close. It has hard walls on all four sides. One of the walls is rounded. The one to his right is rounded, um, but it's still hard and reflective. And the carpet is industrial carpet, and the ceiling is acoustic tile, but it's not the greatest acoustic tile in the world. The acoustics there are very similar to mine, although it, very similar to my office where I'm recording this right now, although the acoustics there are a little more, has a little more reverb because there's more distance between him and the wall. To me, I have to my left about five feet away a glass window or a window, a giant window. And to my right, I have probably about 12 feet away a hard wall and they are almost parallel, not quite. And the wall in front of me and the wall behind me are parallel with each other and they are hard walls. There's no absorbent material in here besides me. Everything is hard and smooth. In there, it's the same kind of situation. We have no absorbent material, no sound deadening material. I'd like to get a sound engineer to come in and, and fix that, but we haven't done that yet. So, unfortunately, it was recorded like this. And the best way to do this is to make sure that you can control your sound reflections and record it properly. And then you don't have to worry about putting in filters. It'll sound great right from the beginning. However, I couldn't do that. And so now I have to worry about filters and trying to fix a problem. All right, so the actual production process of recording is where all of this stuff really should take place, but the post-production can fix any errors that we have. Oh, I'll drop my bottle. So let's go ahead and figure out how to get rid of this reverb. In this particular case, I'm going to use something called Enveloper. And this is what it will do. It's going to... create like a, now let's put it down here. It's going to create like an input section here where this is silent. And then once it hears sound, it will shoot up, let the sound through, and then trail off. It's very similar to a noise gate, almost exactly like a noise gate. But this one um, physically opens up the volumes and it's a little different than a noise gate because it can actually control a little bit uh, better the sound underneath. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with this room killer. Okay. Let's go ahead and play it. Me ha ayudado mucho porque acudí por un asunto de mis hijos. Now, here's what you can hear. You can still hear the overtones of the reflection while he's talking, but you cannot hear the reflection after he's done. Listen. Listen. Y cuando me hizo las preguntas acerca de otros de mis hijos, ella se dio cuenta que podía yo arreglar un asunto de inmigración. Okay. Now it sounds a little weird and digital and stuff, and we're going to tweak it to play with it a little bit. Okay, the left side here is your input. The right side is your outputs. You have your look ahead, and then you have a time for attack and release. Now what attack does is adjusts the input. So what's coming in, the time attack, if it's smaller there will be more of a, a sudden jump. And if it's bigger, there will be less of a sudden jump. Same with um, release. It will go from full volume to zero. If the release time is bigger, it will go slowly. And if it's actually, if the release time is bigger, it will go faster. And if it's smaller, it will go slowly. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, the adjustments on the left side affect the input, and the adjustments on the outside affect the output. 
Now, when the filter is taking place is actually when it goes quiet. So your attack time is going to affect Okay, the inputs over here, this, the left side here affects your inputs and the right side affects your outputs. And the way this filter works is it's actually the, the volume, the, the higher part. Everything else is blanked out to zero. All right, so let's start messing with some of these things and see what it does. Pull up the threshold. Y cuando me hizo las and you can hear it's very de similar to a noise hijos, gate. You lower the threshold. The quieter it is when he's not talking. Que hemos la okay, de let's play with the game. De y socios, lo cual para mí es All right, now what this is going to bueno. do is this is going to increase the volume on the input. And this will decrease it. Basically, this is kind of compressing it here, and this is bueno, expanding it. Una recepción buena en el sentido de que podía ser informado oportunamente y poder anotarme para mi tiempo de espera y pude All estar right. en una sala de espera con things. asientos cómodos. Gain over here. This is going to be the gain on the release, and it actually will be an output gain equipo. for the entire thing. This would be doing this would be similar to. To running a compressor. Um, sin decir específicamente. Uh, I went to the beginning. Sí, me ha ayudado mucho porque acudí por un asunto de all right, and then output level. It's going to take the input that's here and raise this whole level here. Para mi esposa y para mí, y fue exitoso después de dos años que hemos tenido la. Okay, let's do time attack and time release. Fortuna de tener nuestro permiso de trabajo y nuestros socios, lo cual para mí es. The lower the time, I don't know why this is, but the lower the time, the smoother the entry is. <laughs> And the less volume it'll have right from the beginning for each one of these. Sí, mm, each one me ha ayudado peaks. mucho porque acudí por un asunto de mis hijos y cuando me hizo las preguntas acerca de otros de mis hijos, ella se dio cuenta que podía yo arreglar un right, asunto de inmigración you para mi esposa y para mí. Right y fue exitoso después de dos años que hemos tenido la fortuna de tener nuestro permiso de trabajo y nuestros socios, lo cual para mí es... Okay, and then look ahead. I actually like the look ahead. This kind of smooths everything out for me. Bueno, una recepción buena en el sentido de que podía ser informado oportunamente y poder anotarme para mi tiempo de espera. So that's probably our best option for trying to get rid of this reverb. The reverb isn't very good to begin with. Um, I wish I had recorded it better and like I said the best way to do it is with like sound foam on the walls so that um, you don't get that reflective sound Now you don't have to put sound foam all over the wall you don't have to completely coat it all you need it is where he's standing to his left is a wall that's parallel with him so that's part of where the reflection is coming from so if he had a piece of sound foam right about at his head level it would not be able to reflect back into his microphone what's up dude yeah, what's up? Who else knows how to download those, those apps? Nobody. I haven't taught anybody yet. Um, I I made a video, but I haven't posted it yet. But I can post it today. How long do you think it will take for somebody to come? It's real easy to do. Sure. It's so stinking easy. I can teach Diego when he comes back. Yeah, I'll teach him how to do it. Okay. Yeah, everyone's tired of it. Okay, cool.
Now, the best way to do this would be to, re to put some sound foam there. It doesn't, have to be, it doesn't have to coat the entire wall. But if I had some RLX or something like that to his left, it would kill the reflection that's coming and bouncing off of there. And all I needed is parallel to his head. Let me see if I can find a clip that's a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would only have to cover this section right here. It doesn't have to... Um, it doesn't have to go head to toe or, or floor to ceiling on, on the wall. It just has to cover this section here over to his left against the wall. And what happens is the sound won't be able to bounce off of that and reflect back into the microphone. Now, it does bounce all over the room, so you might have to put it in select few places here and there. Um, you'd have to put it also over here on the right, which isn't too far away from him. And you'd probably want to put some directly behind where I was standing. So it would kill the reflection going in that direction. And you may have some still bouncing around, but what happens is if it's in those places, it kind of deadens the sound when it hits those areas and it has a hard time reflecting back into the microphone. That would be the ideal situation. But unfortunately, we didn't have that ideal situation. So what I'm going to do also now is I've got that. And then what I'm going to do is throw in a compressor as well. Oh, be quiet. Acudí por un asunto de mis hijos y cuando me hizo las preguntas acerca de otros de mis hijos, ella se dio cuenta que podía yo arreglar un asunto de inmigración para mi esposa y para mí y fue exitoso después de dos años que hemos tenido la fortuna de tener nuestro permiso de trabajo y nuestro socio. All right, so with the compressor added on there, it's bringing up a lot of his voice and decreasing that dynamic range. So you can hear... Now I'm suddenly really loud. You can hear the air conditioner. I'm not going to worry about the air conditioner because you don't hear it while he's talking. Bueno, un, una recepción buena en el sentido de que podía ser informado oportunamente. Y so poder let's hear what it sounded like before. Tiempo de espera y pude estar en una sala de espera con. And that's what it sounds like now. Con agua para beber y con personas. So you still get the overtones. I might even be able to uh, let's try to EQ them out. They're kind of in the mid-range, so let's do this. Okay. Um, okay. So this is a little bassy. Maybe we, Maybe we should pull some of the bass okay. down too. Sí, me ha ayudado mucho porque acudí por un asunto de mis hijos y cuando me hizo las preguntas acerca de otros de mis hijos, ella se dio cuenta que podía yo arreglar un asunto de inmigración para mi esposa y para mí y fue exitoso después de dos años que hemos tenido la fortuna de tener nuestro permiso de trabajo y nuestro socio. All right, lo I'm not hearing much reflection anymore. Algo muy bueno. Okay. So let's keep it like that. Y, um, okay. That's all I have for that one. That, that was the enveloper, what it sounded like. I threw in a compressor there and threw in some EQ, so... We could completely get rid of the overtones from the. Acudí por un asunto de mis hijos. We could decrease the dynamic range and, and get some overtones or get rid of some of the overtones from the reflection of the wall in there. Para mi esposa y para mí. So it sounds a lot better. Sounds pretty sweet as far as the audio goes. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, I'd like to thank you very much for watching.